Hey guys, it's Sharon back with Little Britain Company. Um, Sophia was very jealous that her sister got all the attention the other day. So we decided that today she deserved a little bit. She deserved her chance to ask you to subscribe to our Little Britain Company. <laughs> so there she is. Sophia, look over here. Say hi. No, are you being jealous? No, not jealous. No, you're just being shy. Look over here. What? Oh, there you go. There you go. Say hi. Okay. Well, Sophia says, please subscribe. Yes, I am quite shameless. <laughs> okay. I needed a little help helping Sophia down. <laughs> she's, she's my sweet big girl. And uh, anyway, anyway, so that was Sophia and she, she got her, you know, her time in the limelight. I <laughs> <laughs> it's the way to put it. So, yeah, I'm pretty shameless using my beautiful girls um, to solicit subscribers. <laughs> but thank you. And hello again. This is the final installment of the massive $400 plus dollar Timu Hall. Having said that, I just started getting another package from my next haul. It's really cool stuff. Um, Timu is just, it, it is absolutely addictive. And I guess in some ways it's addictive. You know, for me, it's addictive in a really fun way. Um, I think I mentioned this in the other one. When I, I still do Dollar Tree hauls. But when I do those, they can add up pretty quickly. Um, so this is actually, believe it or not, saving me money in its own way. So that's it. Um, again, thank you for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. And for all my old subscribers, I really appreciate you. And, uh, and when she sees this, Kate, hi, hope you had a good vacation. Um, so this particular one is mostly craft items because I'm a crafter. You know, it's really, a, you know, and, and I'm a hair fixer because that just drives me nuts. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Right. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, so I want to jump in. This is mostly crafts, uh, but there's a lot here that I'm going to show you that can be used in many different ways, not just for crafting. So y'all ready? Do you have something to drink? Maybe some popcorn, a little something to eat, a little snack, <laughs> a pillow in case you <laughs> doze off through the entirety of this. I know you'll wake back up again and watch the rest of it. Oh, today's installment of earrings. Let's see. These are so pretty. So nice and shiny. Um, yeah, these are just all, uh, every time I come on now, I show a new pair of Timu earrings because they're fabulous. They're fabulous and they're um, so reasonable. Uh, anywho, when last we were together, <laughs> we went through all sorts of things. Oh, and I will tell you in this next haul, I have some really interesting things coming in. Uh, we needed some stuff for some of our beach trips. And in particular, oh my God, my hair is driving me nuts today. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, this I don't know if that's any better. I, just, I feel I just want to go, but I can't stop. I can't. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> now I'll stop. Um. Anyway, it's a new hairstyle, so um. Let me let me get in. So anyway, the the new one um coming in uh, has some very interesting, very neat sort of. Uh, travel type pieces to it but this one as I said is mostly crafting type items they can be used for many things such as these wonderful sets of boxes I have purchased these before and I purchased one two three four of these this time these are fantastic so these little boxes come in at a I think they were yep a dollar forty eight for a pack of three, which is a whopping you know less than twenty five cents more than your Dollar Tree ones, but you get three of these in here, and um and these are great for the stickers that I often end up with because apparently I just can't say no to a really pretty pack of stickers, but they're but they're just a really good size for many different things, um you know they just are. So you can kind of see they're 
Yeah. That's good. Um, I, I have used these. I wonder if I have some right in front of me. Ah, uh, maybe, but I'm not going to be able to find them right now. Nope. Nope. That would be too easy. Um, so, uh, anyway, so these are really good, especially for like the Timu sized stickers. Um, they fit really well, but so four packs of those. I'm going to stop. Um, okay. <laughs> um, it would not be me if I did not have some earrings to show you. And these, I don't know how these ended up in here, but they did. And um, I don't think I showed you. The, no, I didn't. These are, these were a dollar thirty-eight. <sighs> Come back here. It's trying to escape. Got it. Okay, these were a dollar thirty-eight, and aren't they just gorgeous? I mean, really, they are. They're. I. I love the size. I love the. They have a nice feel to them, as do most Satimu earrings. I filled up those little boxes from the other day. Um, I went ahead and, and put all my little earrings in them. So fun. So fun. Okay. So um, next I got this, these white liquid chalk markers. This was a little bit more expensive than what I normally will spend at Timu for some of my um, crafting items, but I wanted it for when I do my craft fairs. I write, you know, in, in the white chalk on the tags. Now, the kind that you end up using, which is almost like a, like a greasy chalk. I don't know how else, how else to put it. And I get that at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, but it's very thick, so I can't write any kind of detail or... Um, anyway, I was hoping that these... Shall we open them? This pack was eight forty eight, so not cheap by any means. But hopefully... The six I should have, so you're supposed to get these three styles. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. Okay, so the first one I'm opening is, if you see that one, yeah. Now, um, I'll be testing everything and I'll give you some pretty honest reviews since this particular video is not Timu sponsored, but it should be. <laughs> Timu should be listening. Um, but I'll give you some very honest, honest uh, answers about what I get out of those. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot. I'm not going to do any product testing in this particular video because we would be here all night. I'm not kidding. In front of me is a ginormous, full box. <laughs> Just saying. Um, and once uh, once I clear some of the bigger items, I'm actually going to face the camera down just so you can see things better. Um, because with some of the more the, the smaller things, you don't need to see my big old face behind all this pretty stuff. <laughs> okay, next thing. Um, so we have this kind of this really nice. Um, I think it's nice for a dollar eight. For a dollar eight, I'm you know I would have been looking for some storage solutions for my crafting all i think all crafters if you're a crafter you know exactly what i'm talking about um if you're not a crafter i'm sure you're still always looking for different storage solutions for different things i'm sorry about all the crackling um so let's let's see what this is okay so you get oh say okay you get the three different levels that you can take apart and on the inside You've got the nice partitions. I really like this one, actually. And the partitions come up. So if you decide you need more space in one of them, um, you can just lift up the partitions and get yourself some more space. Um, winner. I would say that's a winner. I don't know why I'm talking slow. It's been a very, very long day. The end of the school year is always super busy and uh and i'm helping with some of the yearbook stuff and i'm um trying to get my inventory done in my media center which has i think at this point we have about fifteen thousand books and i'm the only one doing inventory so i'm <laughs> oh it's funny so i think we i have i'm i'm like 56 <laughs> percent what's really sad is i started out at 25 percent because all the books that were previously checked out, 
they start your inventory. So uh, in about two weeks, I've only been able to get through 25%. <laughs> Help. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so let's see, what's next? What else is big? I, what I wanted to do is show you kind of the difference between big stuff and small stuff. Oh, I do want to show you this because I'm sending this one back. So I bought more of the nano tape. And the nano tape, by the way, is fabulous. It is amazing. Um, but I, I bought, I showed early in one of the or previous, in one of these other videos from the Mammoth Hall. All of them are connected. Oh, and, and there's a playlist. I've, I'm creating a playlist for you. Um, and for me, <laughs> just keep track. Um, but there's a playlist. So if you want to see all of them and see them in order and kind of see really what does $400 buy you at Timu? Big hint, it buys a lot. Um, anyway, uh, so in one of those previous ones, I had bought some of the nano tape. This stuff, I adore it because it actually sticks. So when I'm putting things up on the concrete walls, as most schools have, it's not going to fall down. It's not going to come down on me. I love this stuff. However, in the previous haul, the one that I bought was like 67 cents. And I don't know how I ended up purchasing one for three seventeen, dollars but I want to keep, keep with the ones for 67 cents. And I think I just found, um, I, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm in the middle of building another Timu shopping cart. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> so, um, I just, my hair is good. Um, so I found more of, of this, the thicker one for about 67 to 78 cents. I'm like, I, I'll go with that. Um, I will, uh, I'll go with that, that price. I like that price range. Um, okay. What else is, oh, so this, this is really interesting. I'm going to take this out of this, this bag. This was 68 cents. Now I have purchased, um, look at this guys. I mean, these are wooden beads. Really nice. I have purchased, um, similar to this in Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five ones that were like, you know, like this tall, with something on the bottom, literally like this big. I mean, if you've been to Dollar Tree, maybe a little bit big. You know, sometimes there'll be a little bit something else on them, but I don't imagine they're much bigger than that. Uh, but normally, I think they're smaller. But this one goes on and on and on. Um, so for sixty-eight cents. That is an incredible winner. Um, you can put this right on some kind of a tree. You can hang it on a fireplace mantle. You can take the beads off and use them for something else. Um, but that that's great deal. Winner, winner, chickeny dinner. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like diving into the box. Um, let's see what else is in here. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is, this is actually really cool stuff. So um, I told you I'm a crafter and uh, some of you already know that. So along with doing paper crafts and sometimes some other things, I also sew and um, I found this cool stuff. Now this is um, the RV, the RV, the RF. Uh, it's the protection for like inside wallets to make sure someone can't walk by you and scan your wallet and scan your credit card as they're passing by, which is a thing and it's been a thing unfortunately for years now um so uh most of us now have the wallets that have the protectors in them but you can buy that separately and that's what this stuff is so i can actually sew it into wallets that i'm making or purses or whatever this this particular piece is um about um 19.69 almost 20 20 by 20 inches not huge but not not insignificant. It's enough to stop something, you know, it's enough to make several things. $2.19. $2.19. I know. I'm just like, <gasps> um, okay. Next we have, this is so pretty. Um, we have this gorgeous piece of material. This one is, I want to say it's I want to say it's a fat quarter. 
And a fat quarter is usually about 18 by four, no, 18 by 22. Oh, it's not. <laughs> like, it came apart. These are the, they're like almost sort of like 10 by eights. Um, I had to, I had to pull it apart to see that. So here's some of this gorgeous material and they're not huge pieces, but they're definitely enough to do things with. Um, and these are just a, a very nice quality um, fabric. And, and honestly, the type of fabric you cannot buy in this country straight from, a, you know, a fabric store. This has to be specially ordered. Um, and if I did buy it from a fabric store, I would be paying a lot of money. So I think these are beautiful. I, I love the look of this, but this is my favorite because I love cherry blossoms. I think this piece is absolutely gorgeous. And I hope that that was all nice for you all. This whole, all of these pieces together a dollar sixty nine. Um, I was just at Joanne Fabric the other day, and I think all this together is half a yard, maybe more than half a yard. Um, I did the math, and I can't do it in my head right now. I didn't. I didn't keep the math. Um, but I was at Joanne Fabric recently, and I bought. Or I was going to buy. Did I buy? I did. I bought. I think one or two of their fat quarters that were on sale. But they were on sale for like $1.49, $1.50 basically for a fat quarter. So this would be more than that. Um, this is like two fat. So I think it's 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 like more than half a yard when you put all the pieces together. Um, so not, not a bad deal, especially with all those really interesting choices. So yes, you're going to be making some sort of smaller pieces, but I, I kind of enjoy making. I like making things that I can finish in a day. Um, sometimes I, you know, I am, I am just a, a woman of contradictions because I also like to quilt. I got nothing. Um, <laughs> I can't, I cannot compromise those two things, you know, to, to fit into my brain. Um, let's see if this is the one I was thinking about. So I thought there was one piece. This one just says pink. I think this is the one I was thinking about. Okay. Aren't they cute? I was surprised at how many corgis I find on um, on Timu. So I think that I think corgis are a thing. So let's see if this is this pack was a dollar twenty nine. Oh, it is. Uh, once again, these are um, oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I would love it if they were selling selling these by the yard. I haven't seen that yet. Um, but look at these cute. So you got the cute little corgis. I'm sure, I was sure I bought some, some straight up fabric, but as close as you can get. These are so stinking cute. I just think that those uh, um, polar bears are adorable and they remind me of one of my sisters. She knows who it is. Um, I'm so mysterious there. <laughs> Sorry. I cracked myself up. Somebody has to, <laughs> it might as well be me. Um, Okay, I love this one. I'm I'm close. I'm getting. I love the cherries. I think that's absolutely adorable. Um, and then this one, this one is actually kind of more simplistic. I know that this is similar to one that we could get in the states, but the other ones, you know, maybe not. I haven't seen these, and I do love getting materials that I have not seen in the past. Um, so four pieces for a dollar twenty nine, not bad. And I think this one again, I can actually try to measure it here. Um, I can tell you how big these are as I move back. So these are approximately 10 by eight inches. Yeah. The other ones, just like the other ones. So, um, I really, really like those. Again, I really wish Timu, uh, sold more of these styles, uh, by the yard. Um, I have seen once or twice, like one or two things in there by the yard. Their fabric is not inexpensive. Um, on because Timo was so well priced on everything, their fabric is a little bit higher, but it's it's a very high quality. Uh, most of it's very high quality, so just say that. Um, okay, these I apologize. 
Um, okay, so these cool things, as I try to get them, I'm going to wrestle them out of the bag. This was actually $2.48 for the two, which is, I think, not a bad price. So these guys look a lot like toothbrushes. Um, if you are a stamper, you know what these are. You actually um, ink them and then you use them on your, you can use them on your ink pad, on your um, stamps, or even on stencils. Um, so I thought that was not a bad buy to get two for, like I said, $2.48. Basically, they're $1.25 each. Basically. Not too bad. Comparable. Um, and I, I'm really excited to use them. I think, was I able to choose the color? I don't remember. I don't remember whether this was random. Um, because often their things are just, you know, you have a bunch of colors to choose from. We're just going to send you what we have. <laughs> We're going to send you what we think you should have. Um, oh, good Lord. <laughs> Look at this box. Okay. I think this is going to be very difficult to explain. Um, so this is a template. Uh, and it is a template. It was $2.38, which is a great deal. When it is all, uh, when you cut it out and you do all the folding for it, it will make a, um, well, you would be using a heavy duty paper, but it will make like a folio box, uh, which I'm very excited to try. I do have a series coming up called Crafting with Timu. Um, super excited about that one. Super excited about that one. Sorry, um, but the but I have a series coming up coming up uh, this summer called Crafting with Timu, where each of the videos is going to be using the Timu products to create something, and I'm very excited about using those templates because it's so cute. That um, um wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm looking at my stacks, and I'm just um in all that I could lift it. Oh, okay. Let me go through this one. So, um, here we go. This is a bag of bottles, and I know that. I mean, if you're if you're a crafter, you know what I, you know you know why I like these. Um, and but even if you're not a crafter, you have many uses for different things like this with all of these different nozzles. Uh, this is what was really important to me. Um, I use bottles like this all the time uh, with my glue. So I will, I, I buy, you know, big things of this really good, uh, glue. And then, um, and then I, I pour them into the smaller bottles and I add the, um, the specialized, uh, more precision tips because regular glue for a soft, you know, it's not archival. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't sit as well. It doesn't set as well. Yeah, I know. Messed up with my hair. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to get comments about messing with my hair and I'm okay with that. I just, I just do it. <laughs> Um, especially with a new haircut, I can't keep my hands off of it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, these bottles would also be great if you're doing tie dye, if you have kids and you want to do those kinds of projects. Um, there are just so many things you can do with something like this. And this thing full of all these tips and all these different bottles was a whopping $4.98. I will tell you, normally I buy... These, let me show you which ones it is. Small ones. Are the small ones even in here? The tiny ones? I buy ones, I guess they're approximately this size. Um, and I'll, it's like a pack of three from Hobby Lobby. And even with a, even with deals, I think I usually spend maybe $4 on, 4 or $5 on those to get all of this, especially these bigger bottles. Uh, because this is really nice for me to be able to keep my glue in something bigger. I'm pretty sure that the bottles that I'm using are about half that size for that price I just quoted. So I'm so excited. I might break into song. No, I won't do that to you. Um, okay. Um, so let's see this one. So we have this really pretty um, red. It's got with the uh, umbrellas. This is um, I've got all sorts of weird notes here. Well, it was two dollars and eight cents. I don't know whether it's thirty by thirty inches or nine or ten by ten, or maybe there's a bunch in here. I don't know. Okay, 
These are 10 by 10s. Oh, that's what it was. So I did do the math on this one and I figured out that um, if you put all of these pieces together, you're going to have one piece that would have been a little bit more than 30 by 30 inches. Maybe, you know, you're, you've got to think about the dimensions aren't square now. They're like doing things like this, but um, the 30 by 30, so you're closing in on a yard, which is pretty cool for $2.08. Okay, so let me show you um, what's cool about, uh, I gotta get it separated. What's cool about this one is it sticks. That's cool. It's the way they cut it. When you cut that many pieces together, they're going to kind of stick together because uh, the, when you slice down like that, because I sometimes will cut multiple pieces just when I'm doing like, well, especially when I'm doing a quilt, when I need multiple pieces the same size. Anyway, they kind of, the, the um, fibers kind of come together. So they're all the same uh, really kind of fun umbrella design um, coming, you know, coming out of England. I like that one. That's that kind of white one. Um, I definitely appreciate my brella, brellies. Um, let's see. As I said, all of these are different colors, but they're all the same design. And I was thinking this would make just kind of a really cool maybe a lap blanket or, I don't know. I mean, depending on what you combine with it, what other colors you combine with it, um, this fabric can go a really long way. That's so pretty. Okay. So this one was interesting because it came folded up and at first I thought, did I order squares? Because it looks like five by five because when it folds up, it pretty much is a five by five inch or charm pack. Um, Okay, put that one away. The fabric is easy to show you like this. It'll be the uh, some other things that I'll have to move. Um, okay, this next one, four pieces, approximately a yard. Did I put a price on it? Oh, there it is. $4.89. I love this one. I really do. Let me get this one out for you. Because I know what, oh my gosh. I am I am very familiar with high quality cottons and fabrics. This is lovely. This is lovely. Okay, so these pieces are considerably bigger than the other ones. So they are meant to be Trying to find actual sizes on the bag is a nightmare, and I thought I had it. They're each about a quarter yard, so they're not quite, I don't know why I'm doing that. I literally have a measuring table right below me, and I'm like doing all these. <laughs> Just, do you ever sometimes turn around and go, well, why was, <laughs> okay, this is, uh, This is 20, no, 10, 16? Yeah, it's about 16 by 20. So it's about 16 by 20. And these are, I just love them. They're, the vibrancy of them, the feel of them, the oranges, aren't they cute? Okay, so this is why I bought these, because it just... It just was speaking summer to me. I love this one. The pineapples, so cute. Let me pull that off so you can actually get the better effect of what just the pineapples look like. Uh, I will say, to be fair, now I love all of it, but I bought it for this. Oh, aren't they cute? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? What well, heck? What the heck? Um bananas okay I love these bananas that banana fabric is go I'm going to turn that into a um kind of like a, a really large um hot pad just to sit on the table because you know you're always grabbing these these tiny hot pads or trivets they're all pretty small and but to have something a nice size where you can put down a couple of things instead of just one thing I've seen I'll see if I can find that person and link link her video. 
Um, I'll, and I'll do a video too of it, but the peaches are just gorgeous. I promise not to jump at you again. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't control myself that last time. Um, I love the watermelon. They're just, it's just so beautiful. And again, the fabric is very high quality. Um, kiwi. Look at the kiwi. I I love this one. I will probably go ahead and reorder this one. And But again, I would love to get some of these like a yard of them. Just just let me buy a straight out yard, especially if they're at these prices. Um, Because those are some wonderful prices. Okay, so next I have this fancy thing. I don't know if I can put this together. This was $3.99. I might try. I might try to put it together for you as we're chatting. Um, this is intended, or maybe I'll just kind of Show you a little bit and figure it out later. Um, I will say that is one negative to Timu is that there are never any directions. Well, I think maybe in like one of their uh, Lego dupes, it wasn't really a Lego dupe. It, I mean, they look kind of like Legos, but they had some really gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Those have really good directions, but as far as I can tell, very little else does. Um, luckily I have a very handy husband. So this is intended to sit, I think like that. Anyway, um, you have, you have a rod that goes up like this and then something goes up here and, um, it's, it's for my sewing. So I can put a really, really big thing of thread on instead of the smaller ones. Um, this kind of extends your, your, your sewing, um, thread placement uh but i'm not gonna try to put all this together because i honestly can build i'm actually not bad at it and as an instructional technology facilitator my job is to really get my hands dirty and get in there and learn but i'm not going to do it to you all while you're watching me and we're already like a little more than half an hour in so and there's a lot more to go a lot um okay Moving some of this out of the way. Um, so let me show you some things that I bought for the business. And I'm going to show you something that I showed you yesterday and something that we found. One second. I'm going to get up close and personal. Hi. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> I mean, let me just uh, yeah, see, see how your day's been. As I move that away, they're sitting in front of me, clearly. Um, okay. So yesterday I showed you all this thing. I was very excited about it. And I have these, uh, I want to put my business cards in there. But for the moment, I had these really cool thank you cards. Very excited about these. They're beautiful. They're good quality. And I love this kind of nice, clean look for my table. I don't know if you can see that. All right, I'm going to try. Can you see that hair right there? That is not a crack. That's not a break, and it's not my hair. That is a piece of hair that was embedded in the plastic in the processing. That was the funniest thing to see that the other day. I was like, oh, I don't really think that I want something with someone else's hair embedded in it. It, it happens. It happens. It does not detract from the quality. I will simply ask them to replace it. One that's preferably hairless. Someone might very well want that little embedded fossilized piece of hair. <laughs> I just think it's funny, um, but it does happen. I, you know, I there, you know, no harm, no foul. Um, so along kind of with the 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 business things, um, I also picked up. And I'm super excited about these because I was ordering these from a company here in the states, and they are not cheap. Um, but it's the clear plastic bags that I use. So these, uh, when you pull this, this little tab off, um, they just stick right down and you can't see anything. And it just makes my products, uh, look that much more professional, uh, when they, when they've got a nice bag around them and I can package them well. Um, so I bought several different sizes. So this one I think is, um, two by 10 inches, 
This one is uh, four by six. Uh, so that one is, say, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting myself, $2.08. And I'm pretty sure this, a hundred of these here cost me, I want to say six, maybe six dollars. Um, this one is two twenty-eight. I'm sure that would have cost me about eight dollars. This one is was three fifty-eight. This is five by seven, probably more like ten or twelve. Um, and then this one is a six by nine for some of the bigger albums or for some of the albums. Five dollars and twenty-eight cents. So. Business-wise, I can't beat that. So they win. They, they win that, that round. Um, so let me let me crunch some more around you. All right, so so much, so much more to see. Are you still with me? Please tell me you're still with me. I really want you here. I'm enjoying sharing it with you. <laughs> okay, story done. So I do enjoy shopping. And so when I would be done shopping, I would have, you know, my cool things that I'd purchased, like I'd purchased things for the kids or whatever it might have been. Or maybe I'd gotten some real, I really like deals. I really, really like getting a good deal. And so I would come home and I would want to show my husband, who does not like shopping, who's more than happy that, that you know, he's very happy that I'm happy. But I would make him sit there. So you've got to ooh and ah over everything I can show you. And then you can ooh and ah and I'll be happy. Um, and he would, he would, he would do the obligatory ooh, ah. <laughs> uh, we keep each other laughing. It's, I think it's why our marriage always stays so fresh. Um, but he is so happy uh, that you all join me on, on my um, shopping adventures now because... Um, I have someone to share my shopping with who, by all, you know, intense purposes, I mean, if you stopped and watched, then you're enjoying watching it, and I'm very much enjoying sharing it with you, and it's such a win-win situation, I can't even tell you. It is such a win-win situation. So, except that I just lost this one. Oh, here we go. Um, so, I want to do, I have, every once in a while, for, I'll like do, um, I'll play this. So at Christmas time, I did these really cool. If there are children in the room, please turn this off for a minute or turn it so they can't see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I made these really cool letters from Santa. And I wanted to make them look even more authentic. I printed them on really nice paper. I did this really nice printing. But what I really wanted to do was put a wax seal on the envelope so that the letters from Santa looked uber official and would just make kids giggle in delight. That's just, I can just see it. I just love it. Um, I did one of the, when I did one of these for a little bit when he was a little bit younger, I mean, he's 12 now. So um, we kept it alive for a long time. Um, but I did one of these as uh, last two years ago when he was really becoming quite convinced that there was no Santa. And he became convinced all over again that, okay, this is true. Look at this official letter that I got. I just love it. I just, as long as we can, the innocence of our children. Anyway, anyway, um, I digress. I'm sorry. So I picked up this cool, this cool little thing. Um, so this is wax. This is, you know, you put your wax in here, you put your candle under here, and then you just let your wax melt and then you pour it and you can do your stamp. I did purchase a couple of stamps because I wanted to do one for the Easter bunny. I thought that would be super cool. Um, and I have some other thoughts about different ones. I also want to do one. I do these, um, specialty tea, um, tea favors pardon. So I put in tea uh, in this cute little baggie so you can kind of see the tea and I put in uh, locally sourced honey and um, I and it occurred to and I made you know, a nice little package but I thought wouldn't it be cool if I had a bee stamp on the outside of it and indeed they have a gorgeous bee stamp. So I'm super excited. I've ordered the bee stamp. It's coming in in the next order I believe. I think. I don't think it's in this one um, but I also ordered these don't they look like honey are they cool so these are of course the um 
Did I tell you the price of that one? I don't even know. I'm so excited. So those two pieces together were a whopping dollar eighty-eight. A dollar eighty-eight for the pour and for the the holder. This uh this one with the um amber wax, I guess you could call it golden. They call it golden. Two ninety-eight, which I thought was a pretty good price because it's a decent amount of wax in there. I was so excited about this. I actually did see someone use this. They used the um, they they used this particular wax. Oh, I can't remember who it was. If I did, I would link it. I promise. Um, and and if you're the crafter who did it, please link it. Um, but anyway, they used this and and the bee stamp, and it looked just like a bee stamp in honey. It was the coolest thing. Excuse me, I'm about to melt. I am under these lights. Whew, okay, um, super excited about that one. But I do think the B stamp is coming in on the next order. I think. I don't know. This box is so full. Um, it's still honestly so full. This is going to be the longest one. My intention is that you'll see this Tuesday, May. What's tomorrow? 15th, 16th. Um, but it may take longer than that for the video to upload. So you may see it on Wednesday. And if so, I'm sorry that it took so long to get to you. Um, cause sometimes it just takes a really long, especially if it's over an hour, it just takes a long time for YouTube to load it. Okay. So I'm super excited about that one. I'm trying to look at for the other bigger things I can show you, um, from here. Now that's small. Those I've got to flip through. I think we're almost at the point where I need to flip the camera down. So, one moment, please. Okay, so I have moved around and I want to start showing you some things. Some of the smaller things, hopefully there's enough light here. Um, we'll see if it's not, let's get these little bits. I've been working with some stuff. Okay, so the first thing is this super cool witch. Oh, let's do that closer. Isn't she wonderful? I think this die cut witch is the coolest thing. I just love her. I think for Halloween, she's going to be wonderful. She was $1.29. Okay, let's see what's next. I'm just going to put her aside. Next, we have a pack of stickers. These were 99 cents. And so let me, oh, let me pull back a little bit so you can see those. So, that cat. These are really, well, okay, that's just weird. <laughs> that's, but this one, Beatrice Potter, this looks like some of her original. Um, these are just really interesting. Very, this one's a very interesting, different kind of pack. There are some beautiful ones in here. And then there are some ones I, I'm not sure I understand. I think that's another Beatrice Potter. And I've got a Beatrice um, Potter-ish junk journal I'm working on. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. All right. So we've got some leaves, snail. Um, that's pretty. It's the bird. What is this one? Naked lady. Uh, He's fun. He definitely looks like he belongs in Alice in, in Alice in Wonderland type album. Um, so I think this is called like Old Time or something. That's cool. This is, okay, this is definitely an Alice piece. So I'm kind of sorting as we go. This one's cool. And if you didn't really want the bird on there, that would be easy enough to fussy cut that one off. Then you've got the Grecian one. What is that? What does that say? The brown morning potion. Well, that could go with Alice. Certainly, I think a key would go with her. Weaver of words. Oh, isn't that adorable? That's stinking cute. She got a moon. Fairy. Love the books. Love the books. As a librarian, I have many hats. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. Okay, love that one. Um, kind of a cool fish. Dragonfly. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful swan. Beautiful queen swan. Okay. 
um, flowers and wheelbarrow and a Grecian urn. And I, again, I think that's from a Beatrice Potter. Um, it's got a moth and some angels and this gorgeous frog. Beautiful blue rose. That is so cool. Some these are a little bit interesting because some of these are kind of disjointed. They don't all look like they belong together. Normally, your Timu packs um, definitely have a theme to them. Um, this one's kind of interesting and different. The red rose. That's cool. And the feather. Okay, so got some great stuff out of that one for a whopping ninety nine cents. I'm gonna put these aside. And we'll grab the next thing. Okay, I stopped for a minute and I grabbed some more light. I hope it helps. I don't know if it does. I'm <laughs> just, just trying um, something new. So here's another pack of our stickers for a $1.69. Let's see what this one has for us. I do show you every sticker. So if you want to like fast forward through this, I do it because it's what I would want to see. You know, when people are showing me things, I want to see what's really in the package. Look how cute that hedgehog is. Oh my goodness. These are adorable. And then you get that. That's a, okay, sure. I like that. That's cool. Oh, I love that one. That definitely looks like it came straight from a book. From an older um, nature book. Oh, cute frog. Oh, Peter Rabbit. He's over there. So you've got some cute birds, owls. Um, oh, that's beautiful. That's very um, 1920s, I think. I like this. It's a cute spring piece. And a whole castle. That's cool. Oh, the dodo bird. All right, Alice in Wonderland goes over there. This, this one also could be an Alice-type piece. It's pretty. Okay, that just makes me think of Monty Python. So we've got some beautiful uh, uh, pieces and some birds. Uh, some of the books, I'm sorry, some books. I like that. I actually think that's going to go over there. And I love the book ones. Really love the book ones. I don't understand that one. Okay, sure. Um, moving on. <laughs> so we got some fairies. Thistle, maybe? Teapot. Oh, wow. Um, oh my gosh. What's it called? It starts with an H. Uh, I forget the name. Um, hum, Humboldt. No, not Humboldt. Some, oh, so close. Um, okay. Love it. It's an artichoke. Oh, look at the mushrooms. So I also have an Alice in Wonderland junk journal that I'm working on. And some of these are just fabulous. If you haven't had a chance to see my happy mail from a week or week, maybe a week or two ago, not two weeks, um, not that long ago, um, my friend Kate sent me some wonderful happy meal. It was so uh, happy meal, happy mail, and it was gorgeous, but she included quite a few lovely pieces for the Alice album. Um, she's also a very talented artist. So, oh, oh my goodness. I love this guy. Look at him. Clock is wonderful. That one's weird. Let's get these other ones. He's cute. Oh, love them. Okay, nice ending to that one. That one right there. Let's see what's next. Um, I'm honestly just kind of grabbing whatever comes up next. Um, so this one, let's see, I think you can see that. This is a really cool Santa die cut, Santa face die cut. So you can see the beard and the hat and the Santa's face. This one was $1.48. I am super excited to try this one. I will certainly show you when it's done. Uh, but that one was very cool. That doesn't belong in there. Um, and then we have this. Uh, this is very cool. For those junk journal, uh, for my junk journal friends out there, um, you can make your own tickets. And then you can make your own reel right through here. This was $1.78. Uh, super cool. This one is super cool. Can't wait to try that one. I can't wait to try all of them. Honestly, I'm just like chomping at the bit to start trying some of these. Let's see. I don't know. 
I'm still trying to get the light right and to not give you too much in the way of shadows. Um, I finally have some new lights coming in. There we go. Try that one. Um, and I'm trying not to get it to be too reflective. This is the coolest thing. You know what? Maybe if I can get it like that. So these are just, they look like stamps. They're Christmas stamps and they are very detailed and just, just beautiful. I'm trying to make sure I get these focused for you. Um, look at the kids in the window. And I love this Santa up here in the corner. He's super cool. So this set was $1.98. Let's pull back a little bit. Okay, this next one was $3.08, which is a little bit expensive for me. I do try to keep my die cuts down to under $2 just because I'm buying so many of them. And it truly adds up fast. Um, but as you look at this one, you can see you've got the books on the shelves. You've got like some little knick-knacky type things. You've got the rows of books that you can add in. And of course, this is your shelf with a window. I really love this. I think it's just so cool. For three oh eight, it, it was worth it to me to have that. Um, again, you know, library. Okay, next stamp. I enjoy every chapter of our friendship. That's super cute. And I think this could look really cute on a book page. Uh, stand, you know, you cut out the, a nice book page. Um, I actually have several uh, older books right now that have fallen apart. I do not take apart books that are in good condition. These were ones that had fallen apart. And so I go ahead and, um, and I can stamp directly on there. I think that one's going to be gorgeous on there. Uh, and that one was 99 cents. Okay, this next one is, I have it in here backwards. This one was 98 cents. And that's what's cool about it. When you create, when you stamp it, it will actually stamp this postcard on the back of your cards. Um, whatever card or piece that you put together. I really love that. I love that, that you, you know, basically you're creating your own really cool vintage postcard for all of 98 cents. Um, so this one is Notre Dame. And uh, I, I will never forget Notre Dame burning, trying to get out of a package. And uh, Little Bird was, was pretty young. I mean, it, it, even though it feels like it wasn't that long ago, but um, he felt, for whatever reason, he felt very strongly about it. Um, and was was really upset about it. So we tried not to watch it too much, but he was very excited when they saved one of the, um, the, the, wind, the um, stained glass windows were salvaged and not all of the towers burned. They were actually able to save a, a bunch of it and, and uh, that he found very exciting. So we turned it back on when there was good news. Um, anyway, I got the Notre Dame stamp because I thought he would really enjoy it. Um, and for $1.38, why not? And it'll look fabulous on, you know, some books and things. Um, oh, again, this is another one that makes me think of all my children, really. Um, if I can get it open, that's always the trick, isn't it? Don't forget to pause and get, you know, take a break, have a drink, come back to it. I know this is super long. I can't get this out. There we go. Look at this one, guys. This is so cute. I love you to the moon and back. Press here. That's interesting. If I could touch a star every time I think of you, I'd have the whole sky. You are my moon and stars. And with Little Brit in particular, I would, I would say I love you to the moon and back. And he would say more. So, you know, he, Buzz Lightyear thing. I would say, well, I love you to the moon and back plus infinity. And that smart little child at a very young age maybe four would turn around and say infinity plus one I was like well <laughs> there's no beating that is there um okay so this next one is like a starburst this reminds me very much of the 1950s 
Uh, this uh, was a dollar seventy eight. All I can think of is you put a little clock in there and you've definitely got the 50s going for you. So um, that one's super cool. And again, $1.78 is a, you know, can't beat that. Okay, this next one was $1.98. And um, so these are, are these wonderful little um, tabs or strips you can... Uh, type something out and then cut it out on here and you've got this sort of cool little banner piece. So they're all different sizes of banners. I thought that was a great deal. This I adore. Look how cool that is. So you get all these very vintage 50s. To me, they're very 50s, 60s dresses um, that you can dress up and turn into many different things um, and different seasons which I thought was super cool. Okay, so next, oh, this is really cool. These are tabs, and along with the, the different tabs and the um, and the whole system, this is almost like the um, um, Memodex, um, Memodex, is that what it's called? Um, you get these pieces, you've got this folder piece, you can see the kind of the folder, um, that can be folded. You've got all the number, oh, pardon, numbers and the alphabet going on here. And then you've got these cool um, labeling sections. This was, I thought this was super cool. I was very excited about this one. It was, um, again, this was a little on the expensive side for me, $4.48. But considering what it would cost elsewhere, $4.48 was a pretty good deal. <laughs> So this next one, if you are a sewer again, and this can be used for many things, but in particular, I think of this as, you know, for sewing, is this handy little ruler. And um, this ruler is in centimeters. And when I am following um, designs that are from other countries, I actually, I really need it to be in centimeters. Um, for some things because it doesn't, you know, doesn't really work with the other ones. So, uh, so if they're doing things in centimeters, I can certainly change it and I can, I can change up the pattern a little bit if I wanted to, but I, sometimes it's nice to work in the dimensions that, that they created it in. So we're going to adjust this camera just a wee bit, um, still in an effort to get there we go Let's see what that does okay next I'm turning this around in this cool the let it snow look at this little bit of greenery here this stamp there's a snowman in there you've got a jingle bell in there um, wishing the magic of the holiday season have a holly jolly Christmas it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then down below, we have this other piece of greenery. It's got a Santa in it. Um, I think that's a holly berry. This was a $1.98. $1.98. I do feel like I'm a commercial for Timu. I'm not. Um, but it sure feels like that sometimes. This one was interesting because it came in this very fancy package there. Uh, this particular company that, company that works with Timu clearly is trying to protect, you know, their packaging and, and product. Let's try this a little bit. I'm going to do that a little bit. I don't know if that's going to help, but we'll see. <laughs> oh no, that didn't help. I'm just going to make you guys dizzy looking at all this. Um, okay. This B1 was just adorable. Look at these little guys. They're so cute. You've been one busy bee. I thought this was adorable. I do love bees. I have several animals. Rabbits and bees are two of my favorites. And this one was $1.98 for that stamp. Um, okay. Several of them did come in kind of fancier packages. Okay, this one's interesting just because of the differences in some of what it is. So this little cat... With the mouse holding the, the umbrella, so cute. And the thank you, um, the owl always love you. But in particular, I love these two little fawns. 
these two little deer, maybe out of, they're, you're very dear to me. These are beautiful and definitely reminds me of kind of a 1950s, they give me a 1950s vibe. And there's the owl, super cute, $1.48. Seriously, guys, $1.48. Um, let's see, I didn't open any of these, but maybe I should have been flipped them around so it would be easier for you to see. Because I do realize how long the videos get. Um, this has the Easter greetings, but this is, this to me looks very much like uh, a Beatrice Potter rabbit and the uh, goose. I'm pretty sure this is a series from these, these particular ones are from Beatrice Potter um, books. They're gorgeous. I can't wait to try them out. I really, really can't. That could very well be Peter Rabbit. So super cute, $1.98. And here's another big one. I recently saw someone doing a um, a video on a, a simple and much cheaper storage system for uh, for stamps, and I was I'm super excited to try it. Okay, this next one very very teacherish. Love it. Love the books. Love the apple. I love how it's drawn out into almost blueprints, and then the the pencils here. This is just fabulous. And these are a nice size. So if I put it down, this one is going to do, well, it's approximately one, two, three, four, approximately three and a half by, um, by two and a half inches. And it's actually a pretty decent size. So love that one for $1.68. You cannot beat it. Um, okay, next we have some papers. This pack of paper was a dollar eighty-eight. I promise to get into it soon. <laughs> Let me just wrestle with it. I could just show you the top one, but I hate when people do that. Um, and again, you can you know kind of fast forward. So these are kind of the old Nature um, magazines or the old the uh, older botanical books. Beautiful. These are beautiful. If you are someone who is a junk journalist. Um, let me pull that out a little bit so you can see that better. So these are just absolutely beautiful pieces. Um, can turn it around some more. And these are going to be wonderful in my, in my junk journals. Oh, look at the C one. Oh, I love that one. Okay. I'm just going to keep flipping them. Beautiful. Oh, the mushrooms. That's got to go in the Alice album. Oh, there's more than one. Look at that one. I'm also doing some under sea ones. I'm actually getting ready to do some kits, um, under the sea kits. Some of these will look beautiful in. I wonder if we're, no, I don't know if we're repeating. I turned that one upside down accidentally. These are, uh, these are really fabulous. Okay, love this set. This whole set was $1.88. $1.88, oh my goodness. I, I am fairly convinced that in the U.S. you would be paying at least triple or quadruple. I think quadruple that price. Um, love this set. Thank you so much. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I really got it for the bunch of Hocus Pocus. But the boo, happy birthday wishes to you. Best day ever. Hello, my friend. Trick or treat. I'm here for the candy and focus on the good. This is just a really nice, um, you know, the, the sayings and the snippets. I just think this is adorable. $1.69. Yes, I'm talking fast. I'll probably get faster. Um, or we'll be here all night. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. That would be a lovely night. We should do a whole, like, sleepover concept where we do a live sleepover. Wouldn't that be fun? Would that be fun? Tell me if you think that's actually kind of an interesting concept. A live event where we're talking and looking and crafting and uh, well into the night. I'm not sure if I stay awake, but... Um, so this particular packet, enjoy the little things. It's really pretty. Um, I think there are, let me take a quick look. It's called Country Life. It was $1.78. I don't know how many pieces are in here. Um, one, two, three, four. Nice quality paper. Five. I like that one's pretty. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, that looks like ten sheets. Is 
Is that only 10 sheets? Five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, uh, so a dollar seventy-eight for 10, 10 sheets. It's uh, approximately, what is it, six by six or eight by eight? Um, it's about eight by eight. So it's okay for eight by eight, but if, uh, but I can order through Echo Park and get some gorgeous paper through Echo Park. Um, and they just did their warehouse sale where you can buy like the 24 to 48 packs. I think the 24 packs were $3 and they might've been cheaper if you ordered like 10. I think they were like 233 when you ordered 10. And those are double-sided. I will say Echo Park's a better deal. When you're looking at the papers, Timu might end up becoming a better deal with some of them, but for the most part, my money is on Echo Park for those. Um, it just, their warehouse sales are so good. Okay. Shockingly, <laughs> Um, so we got another stamp, not for stamps. Timo wins hands down for stamps. I just think this one's so cute. Um, so we've got the Merry Christmas, fa la 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 la, Merry Christmas to you, be of good cheer, jingle all the way. That's so cute. Um, it's the most wonderful time. I love this holly jolly Christmas. Tis the season to be jolly. This was a dollar ninety eight, guys. I mean, seriously, my box is gonna fall if I'm not careful. <laughs> I've got some heavy stuff in here. Okay, here we have another Christmas one. We've got the green. I love this one. This very, very vintagey greetings one. Um, this whole thing is is uh, vintagey. That one's upside down. That's weird. That one is actually printed incorrectly. This really because this should be what you see when you when you stamp it. All of these are what you see when you stamp it. That one is uh, printed wrong. It's upside down. How interesting is that? Okay, so that was $1.69. Um, let's take a look at this one. So we have, it's more Christmas greetings, more Christmas wishes. Um, loving all the uh, the more vintage-y um, looks to these. This was $1.98, and these all look like they're in the right direction. <laughs> oh, look at this bee. Look at that queen bee. Holy cow. These are all flowers. Wow, that's really pretty. So happy birthday, queen. Um, you've got some flowers here. Very decorative, beloved. Um, definitely, um, I want to say 1800s, they were very big on bees. They show up in a lot of different um, pictures and things. This was $1.29. Just $1.29. Okay. This one is, let me get it out of the package because it's getting blocked. I should have, I didn't want to look too deeply into everything. I wanted to price things for you, but I didn't want to like see too much before you saw it with me. Um, so this is so pretty. Do you see the, the birds? And you've got a little bit of greenery here, um, some snow or however you want to make that. You've got this really pretty tree, but look at that snowman. He's just fabulous. You've got the cabin in the woods, and you have this beautiful buck. Um, so, a dollar ninety-eight. Fabulous. Um, okay, we have more. We're back into our bees. I do, you know, like I said, I love the bees. I think they're going to save the world. <laughs> okay, this particular one was two fifty-eight. But it's so intricate. There's so much going on here. You've got the honey, dripping honey. You've got the honeycomb, the honey pot, the hive. Uh, more dripping, but this one's a little bit bigger. Let me um, give you a chance to see even closer to some of these. Um, you've got your bee over here and here. This one's at like the dizzy bee and then the hexagon, uh, another dizzy bee, and then the, um, the bee kind of spoon or scoop. I just love these. I think this one is gorgeous and well worth the two fifty eight. You know, honestly, how do you beat that? Nobody can beat that. This one was in my cart for a while, and I finally decided to jump on and get it. I just love it. I don't know why. I think it's just going to be really cute addition to different cards that I'm making, and it was a dollar ninety eight. I think I've seen this one cheaper. 
But that's that's what I got for it. So I'm gonna have to look through it. If it's cheaper, I think within 30 days you can get some discounts back, which I love. I love that Timu does that. Okay, another Christmas one. Um, I don't know about these guys. I think they're kind of creepy. I I don't know. I'm not I'm not crazy about these guys, but I love the Santa. I love the big wreath. A joyous uh, Christmas. You've got a cute couple of cute little sayings down here. I love the holly and the buck. So I can, you know, figure out something to do with the creepy guys. That one was $1.98. Seems to be, seems to be the thing. Um, another really nice, love the sayings, making spirits bright, dashing through the snow, good tidings of comfort and joy. All is calm, all is bright. I love the all is calm, all is bright. Um, $1.69. Just love it. Okay, this next one. Oh, this is fun. Uh, so here's here's something funny. I am positive that the order that is sitting in my cart right now that I haven't ordered, I added this one to it because I forget sometimes. <laughs> so the owl is just so majestic. And then you've got this beautiful honeycomb with the bees. You've got the wonderful butterfly and you have this sort of um, deer head. Advice from a deer. <laughs> okay. He's a little unusual, but they're really beautiful. And this was $238. Okay, let's see. All right. I adore this one. I really do. This is one that I really want to use again on some book pages. So I would stamp it onto the book page and then cut the page out so it's frameable. This was a dollar forty-eight. You know, once once you um, do a simple stamp on it, then I'm I can go back through and do the color ins. Just love that one. So beautiful. Okay, so we have some packs of paper here. I'm going to show you this one. I'll show it to you here, and then I'll show you here because I got two of these. Because this one is called Pink Christmas. These were $2.28 each. I think they have like 16 sheets in them. So you have these cut cutaways. These are really nice cutaways, cut aparts. Um, some cute little ones to fussy cut around. That's pretty and it can be used for any time of the year. Look at the, oh, let me pull this out a little bit for you. That was the wrong direction. There we go. So you got this beautiful deer, so pretty. This has got like uh, handwriting on it. Pretty. I love these because I want to use my um, my punch. I'll punch around those and turn those into uh, really pretty medallions. That's going to be nice. So this has some nice cut aparts. Um, I love this. Some mo a lot of this paper is not just you know it it's not just Christmas. You do have some definite Christmas elements. These are really cool. These old fashioned ones. That one's practically Easter. <laughs> um, but these are just, look at the cat. That cat does not look happy. Um, they're just beautiful. And this one just did have a lot of cut aparts. Um, that one turns into like a little box or envelope. That's cute. Um, yeah. I like these for my journal, for um, my um, junk journals. Because they're really nice, easy to put together pieces. So I bought two of these. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that decision. I really am. Love these little tags. I'm, I will add those to the top of a, a more substantial tag. Um, I think that's going to be really cute. Super cute. All right. So that one, I told you that was two something, 238. Uh, this next one is called Dessert. Uh, it, it was 268. And let's take a look. Look at this thing. The ice cream. Oh, I love this one. I, I do love this one. For $2.68, I, I don't know. I don't know how many pages are in here, but I think it's like 16. Happiness is a cup of tea. Oh, cute. This one actually is a little bit busy for me, but I can I think I have some ideas for that one. This closer to you can see. Oh, I love the macaroons. <gasps> this is going to be an album. I definitely want to do a dessert album. I have to figure it out. 
Um, these are so wonderful. Petisari. I probably did not do that very well. Um, but I didn't. I, I did not learn French in school. Um, my cake recipe. I actually took Latin. <laughs> I was actually the president of the Latin club, which is hilarious. Um, this is just beautiful. I love these. You can certainly cut them out or you can leave them as, as sort of a page, a, a, like a background page. <gasps> Look at these. <gasps> oh, sorry. <laughs> these are fabulous. A lot of fun cutting in there, but oh, wow. That looks delicious. Okay, and so you have this woman with the tea. Enjoy the sweet moment. And wow. And again, this is a great place for my punch. I think that's probably two inch. Or is that two inch? It looks a little more like a one and a half inch. Um, but a great place to create medallions. Okay, super cool. The next one is, this one's called Forest, I think. This one is Retro Forest. Again, it was two fifty eight. dollars And again, I will say these are beautiful, but... Um, and they're slightly bigger than the uh, the ones I'm talking about with Echo Park. Those are six by six, so they're gonna. These are slightly bigger. Um, no, yeah. these are beautiful. Love the wilderness. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Again, I love all the wonderful cut aparts. So much to see there. Look at that fox. This is definitely, you know, these papers actually make it very easy to turn something straight into an album because they already have so much sort of built-in texture. How cute is that squirrel? Love it. Okay, these are really, really pretty. Fall or early winter. Cute, a wild boar. So these are nice. Some very different, different languages. I like that. So you've got some Spanish, you have some French. Very cool. Very nice. Very, um, very vintagey. As I said, very, very botanical vintagey. All right. So what's next in our bag of tricks here? I'm going to grab another pile of things and. So this one is next, a whole different type of thing. Here we go. So, get that out of the way. This was $1.89 and let's see what's in here. So these are, I think, just flat back, cute little guys that I want to attach to different things. A little TV. I'm just gonna lay them out for you. Um, they're all approximately an inch by an inch, so Oh, look at that cute guy. Oh, these are these are pretty adorable. Oh, is that a rabbit? Oh, look at the cute rabbit. Okay, you've got a little spaceship going on here. And your duck. Your rose. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know how many are in here. I suppose we'll see soon enough. Look at a little sandwich. Oh, look at the little milk. That's so cute. Let me get my hand out of the way while I'm showing you. Oh, the, oh, that's a leaping bunny. You've got this, oh my goodness. That's a taco, watermelon. You've got a cute little whale. And you've got another little bunny. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, so 18. You got 20 in there. And they come in one of those little boxes that I was telling you about. And on the bottom of the box, you have some little adhesive dots. So if you want to attach them right away, you can. I think these are adorable. Let me let you see some of them up close and personal. So I can't really move the camera a whole lot. So yeah, these are super, super cute. Back that out a little bit. And they fit so well. I actually have a plan for these that has to do with some of my new um, pen cushions that are coming out. Adorable pen cushions. 
put that guy up there. Um, okay, let's see what's next. More stickers. Ready for some more stickers? These are like stamps. This pack was a dollar thirty-eight. I think I said that one was a dollar eighty-nine. Um, so this pack is a dollar thirty-eight. Oh wow, definitely worth it. These are, I think they're like a travel one. Look at that one. They're beautiful. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of in love with these. These are just wonderful. Um, different countries, different themes. Oh, you know, again, I've got, I keep running into some really cool um, ones that can be used with the Alice album. Look at this one. I do love that they're, you know, they've got their, their cut around like stamps already. Super cute, super cool. Um, just really pretty. And again, if you want to zoom through these, I think you could probably just put on your fast forward. Or I may, <laughs> you may not hear anything that I'm saying. I may just try to fast forward this for you so you can look through these more quickly. I think we just saw that guy. Oh, I love that one. Okay. All right, just, these are just gorgeous. Um, so those, big, big win. Love those. Yeah, there's still quite a bit left here. I really wanted to finish this one off for you all tonight. I may stay and try to finish it with you. Let's see how far we get. Um, I did pick up one of these guys. If I can get it out of its package. Okay. That is for the wax melting. So I can actually um, put my wax in here and then um, it, hopefully it'll, it'll adhere a little bit. But I could also use this for my hot glue gun so that my glue doesn't drip onto anything else. It can glue, it can drip right there on that silicone. And it was only $1.18. I picked up the uh, these wonderful circles. Um, I have several different ones, but I love this bigger one. is a really nice big size, two eighteen. Um, okay, we've got another pack of stickers here for you. These are bees, a dollar forty eight. These are so cute. Wow. I hope you guys like bees as much as I do because I really do. And I didn't realize they were like the big thing this year. I just like bees. I don't like that bee. He's weird. I think that one's cute. Love this one. Some of these are just fabulous. Save the bees. Definitely save the bees. Save the bees. Save ourselves. Wow, cute. Holy cow. <laughs> I can't get this one out. Hi, honey. Most of these are absolutely wonderful. There are a few that are a little too cartoony for me, but most of them are just beautiful. Look at this one. I love that one. I just really love Honey Bee. Oh, sad one. Cute. Okay, I, I don't need to see that. <laughs> I did not need to see that. Okay, here we go. And. Killer Bee and, that, that's not fun. Save the bees, grow dandelions. It's cute. And it will. <laughs> okay, love the bee one. 
Uh, this next one is called the Label Collection, and this one was two fifty eight. Trying to get things out of the way. I may not be able to show you everything <laughs> anymore because I am just taking a huge amount of time. There are duplicates of this one. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. It's so hard for me not to show you because they're so cute. Oh, I'm not even under the... Cute, 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 cute. These are wonderful. I think... Let me double check. I'm pretty sure these are stickers. Maybe. Yes, they are. Oh, they're like washi tape stickers. Oh, cool. Okay. They are really gorgeous. They're well done. They feel good. I like that kind of muted look. That's so cute. Um, look. I, I mean, they're really wonderful. They are truly special and unique. They had a bunch of different ones. I thought these looked like the ones that I was most interested in. And I am so glad that I got this set. Um, oh, cute. Oh, that's a little, that's a little um, witch. Cute. All right. Wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Oh, golly, there's so much more to see. Okay. Um... There's more fabric. This one was $2.99. Uh, let me get this one out of here for you. I can't even see the time anymore. <laughs> it's, it's hidden. Uh, so let's take a quick look. I think this one's really, really beautiful. Um, this particular series, if I can get it open to the last piece. Okay, here we go. Look how pretty this is. It Again, it feels great. The pieces are beautiful. This has a weird smell to it. It's probably just the finishing on the fabric. Um, and I don't generally, uh, these days, wash fabric before I use it. Uh, the manufacturers generally tell you not to. That it'll be, you know, it's not going to have a lot of shrinkage. I think these are beautiful. These remind me of, of England for some reason, or maybe tea. Um, so these pieces were, that was $2.99 for all of those pieces, and they are approximately 10 by 8. That one out of the way. Oh, look. This is another bag set for $1.78, and uh, this one was 2 by 8 inches. So I'll put that one aside. Um, I did get a little uh, ink pad for 88 cents. It's, you know, it's certainly a little bit on the small side, but for 88 cents, it's actually still better than the ones that you get at uh, Target at Christmas time. Golly, I can't get the lights right for you all. I'm so glad I just ordered brand new lights, um, which will be in by the time we do the next haul, which I'm very excited about. Okay, this next one was $2.60. And this is just these uh, rings for uh, jewelry making. There's a lot in here. I want to say, I, so you get the, the jump, jump rings and then the connectors for making jewelry. And then we have this cute little bee. Isn't he adorable? And he was 98 cents. I did get this. This is um, the one in these fashion one, 30 pieces for $1.28. And these are just wonderful. They are stickers. They have a nice matted look. You get three of each, I think. Um, and they're just really gorgeous wonderful in our albums so she's by a christmas tree i think 
I just love the, the clothing. Um, you definitely are stretching between the 50s all the way to the, looks like to the 70s. That one. Oops, knocking them all around. Um, so trying to go pretty quickly for you. And I think that one was it. So, I mean, really, really, really gorgeous. Um, again, I found some more. Uh, yes, I, I do love these these Christmassy deer, these very vintagey looking ones for a dollar forty eight. Super cute. This one says hello. And uh, definitely, you know, certainly looks Easter-y, but rabbits are sometimes, you know, they can they can stretch different time periods. <laughs> um, this one was $1.38. This one is super, super cool. $2.48. And this one, look at these. Nice size, like a postcard size. They are not postcard type paper. That's a little bit thinner. Uh, but you could certainly mount them and uh, stamp the back of them. They're just beautiful. I really love this set. So cool. Okay. So cool. For $2.48. Man. Um, okay, this is more papers. This one is a little bit more... Maybe, Take a look at this one. It was a dollar ninety-eight. Oh wow, these feel fabulous. These can't be. Oh, it's a sticker. The whole thing is a sticker. Wow. So these are absolutely fabulous. You can certainly cut these down into whatever you want them to be. Um, love that mechanical bee. But the fact that these are all sticker sheets is really, well, they're not all. That's not a sticker sheet. And these are more, they've got like this sort of gold on them. So these are papers. And then this is a vellum. Wow, it's quite a variety in here. Love that rabbit. Okay, these are wonderful. Just more wonderful. Definitely have a love fest going on with Timu. Um, okay, found this wonderful stamp set with London. Twin Bridges and um, Big Ben, which I believe is now open again. When we were there in 2019, it was closed for repairs. Um, I, don't, I like that little thing. But uh, London and the, I will say London desserts are wonderful. Oh my golly, this is one of my favorites ever, ever. Flying Monkey. Don't make me release the Flying Monkeys. I think this is the best one ever. It's so cool. This was $1.28. I don't think I told you. This one was $1.38. $1.28 for the Flying Monkeys. Yes, please. Okay, this next set, Age of Steam, comes in this nice little uh, folder. And you get these really pretty, uh, the, so we've got some vellum in here. We've got some, um, so we got a vellum and it matches like the actual paper version, printed version. So they're, they're just gorgeous. They are really, you know, you probably, let's see if we can get you out a little bit more so you can see more of it. These are just truly um, gorgeous. I will say, I mean, one of the reasons I, I truly love Timu is that I can get things there that I can't get anywhere here. If I could, it would cost me, you know, a lot. It, more than I could really afford. I mean, we, we did spend a, a hefty chunk of money on this, but we got just a ton, a ton of stuff for that amount. And, uh, and it felt good. <laughs> it felt good to walk away with that, I kind of feel like I've shown some of these, but um, these are these small, uh, smaller stamps. You put them on your finger and dab things on. This little finger painting sponges 
um, was a, they're not, I don't think that they're finger, for me, they're not finger painting, they're for stamping. $1.38 for that set. I know that they sell these in Hobby Lobby for like $5. Um, buttons, these really amazing wooden buttons. Can't get this stupid light. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm lamenting the light. 69 cents. I mean, these are just so cool and they are wood. Okay, we've got this beautiful, uh, majestic starfish, a starfish, uh, um, horse, horse, horsefish. Oh, my golly, my brain is fried. Um, anyway, under the sea, <laughs> under the sea for a dollar ninety eight. Oh, wow. Look at the Alice in Wonderland one. I was so tickled to find this one. It says Wonderland on it. I am pretty sure it did not say Alice in Wonderland. That is one thing I wish Timu would work more on is getting some um, some of their descriptions to make better sense to um, the different audiences. It definitely, I think, for uh, for the American, the British, and the Australian audience, there are certain um, keywords and things that we might be looking for that I don't think they're looking, that they're using. Wonderland or Alice for that one we just saw, and I don't think that's what it was called. And I just stumbled upon it, or, or someone showed, um, sent it to me. This one also very much, I don't, it's not intended to be Alice, I don't believe, but this one very much makes me think of Alice in Wonderland with the kind of regal, majestic rabbits. I, talk, I say majestic a lot with this one. $1.98, okay. Um, this next pack of stickers, I did not put a price on. Oh, I am just being, oh, I did, $1.98. $1.98 for this British set. Um, and since I'm, I'm going to try to move a little bit quicker, um, this is a set so cute. Um, I just think these are gorgeous, you know. I do love... I do love the Brits. <laughs> Several of them in particular. These are so cool. Oh man, these are wonderful for $1.98. Now, I will say because of the company and some of the things that I make, we have ordered uh, British stickers very similar, if not some of the exact same ones. I'm sure that's the exact same one. Um, and paid a lot more money for it. We got about half the number and probably paid seven or eight dollars for the pack. And this one was, what I say, $1.98. So that is quite a savings. That is quite a savings, I must say. Um, some of these I've never seen. Some of them were actually in the other pack. So love it. Oh, and ending on that one, that one's so cool. Okay, next. We are, we are actually getting there, guys. We're really, really close. Um, get that one out of the way. So, oh, had to get the robot. Isn't he cool? I just think he's fabulous. You can put a little face on him or you can create your own. He was 208, worth every penny of it. I just think he's gorgeous. I think the robot is wonderful. I picked up this one. I'm leaving this wrapper. The Merry Christmas. That snowman is wonderful. $2.48. Um, ho, ho, ho. Who needs snow? Uh, the Santa is wonderful. Happiest Christmas wishes. Merry, Merry, many Merry Thanks. Um, really wonderful uh, stamp set. Lots going on in that one. This next one very, very much reminds me of England. Um, when we were there, in, well, the last time we were there for Christmas, um, this is the kind of teddy bear you see everywhere. And he's adorable. Santa, stop here. He is just so precious. $1.48. Now that is one of the ones that is just a single stamp for $1.48. And I am, I am here for it. Love the strawberry. I think the strawberry is wonderful. And I think I can make a shaker out of him. $2.48. Um, there's just a lot of really nice strawberry going on here. Uh, this one, uh, so we were looking at the other pages and saying, I said you could add a postcard piece to it, and here's what you could use. I mean, there's all sorts of nice postcard language, 
uh, for correspondence. You've got some stamps going on here. Um, this is just, I love the airmail one. So much going on. Just kind of like this haul. So much going on in this haul. Um, let me grab the last few pieces here because we really are near the end. Shockingly enough, I swear, sometimes I look at I look at some of these and I think, have I shown that before? And it is highly possible because I like what I like. So it's definitely possible that I, you know, purchase the same thing twice, which would be perfectly fine. Last pack of paper, $2.28. I'm going to, let's pull this back a little bit so you can, oops, no, that was closer. There we go. Um, really pretty. Okay, yep, this is the under the sea one. Look at that. That is just wonderful. Look at the jellyfish. <sighs> okay, I do love this set. I think that this was, this is a gorgeous set. And as much as I like Echo Park on some of these, they don't have all of these papers. And I think that's what someone else was saying too. Yes, I might be able to get some other things here, but going through Timu just opens up so many avenues into things that... I otherwise would not have access to or wouldn't even know we're out there. These are beautiful. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was more wonderful. Um, okay. I did pick up these cool little uh, peach charms. They are $1.34. I'm thinking about turning them into earrings if I can get them open. <sighs> these bags. The bags defy me. Um, they are a decent size, definitely. Look how pretty that is. These are just gorgeous. I think there's, what is there, two, four, six, eight. There are 10 in here for $1.34, guys. So if I wanted to make earrings, I could get five sets of earrings out of that. Okay. I, let me get that out of the way, had to pick up this guy. This is just so stinking cute. Um, for 98 cents, he had to come with me. Um, this next one, $1.88. More of these really cool stamps. They're just so adorable. I don't know if I can get this open. So I can get show you kind of a better sampling of them. <laughs> you should see the havoc I've created in this room. I'm just kind of throwing packages. And... Oh, no! That one went flying. <laughs> All right. One second, please. I can, I can get it. I know I can. Here we go. Got it. So I knocked the light around. <laughs> Pick some dog here. Well, y'all know I have dogs. <laughs> okay. So... Let's see if I can find the end. I think that's it. There we go. So I'm going to open. This is, oh, wow. This is washi tape. You can see this one's actually tearing the first one. So that's okay. Wow. I'm trying to see a repeat. Look at the car. Look at that. That is where it starts to repeat. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let me carefully try to get this back on the roll. And then we'll look at the last few bits. If you have stayed with me this whole time, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay. This next one was a $1.87. Looks like this one might be a little bit more gentle with me. Let's hope I don't drop this one. <laughs> but I don't promise anything. <laughs> I said I do. At least it bounced here on the table. Okay, so let me see if I can find the end. This one is less washi tape, and it looks like it's more stickers. Where is the end of it? Oh, right here. It's got this, this thing on it. Let's see if I can get it without, no, I'm not going to get that without tearing up some of these stickers, but okay. 
Wow. Is that the Titanic? Yeah. Look at that airmail one. Okay, beautiful. I don't even know if these repeat. Absolutely going for $1.87. Okay. We have two more rolls. I'm not... I sure hope I'm still recording here because... I bet you I'm pretty close to the end of my battery. <laughs> if it goes, I will come back to you later. <laughs> okay, this next one is sort of an under the sea one. As I try to get into it, there we go. I didn't even drop this one, guys. Are you proud? I'm proud. <laughs> you know, I spoke too soon because now I can't get this off. I know it's right here. I think this might be another washi. Oh, it's up here. Okay. And it's ripping a little bit, but it's going to repeat. So I think I'm just going to have to resign myself to losing one of them. Wow. Can you see that? Let me... Let me bring you in some on this one. Really beautiful. <laughs> really amazing. These are just, you know, I'll say it again. This is something, you know, we're just not going to get in this country for these prices. We're not. Team has pulled out the middleman. I'm the middleman's middleman. This next one was $1.88. It is another roll that I'm going to try to get into for you. And for me. <laughs> Definitely trying to get into it. <laughs> I am doing battle for all of us. Okay, so we're in this one. Um, you can see this one's going to have a lot of beautiful nature pieces in it. I'm not going to try to get that apart because I think I might fall asleep on my feet at this point. A um, few more pieces. That one was gorgeous. Yep, I'm getting lazy at the end, but okay, these are wonderful. Oh, can you see that one? These are little witch hat charms. Look how cute that is. Oh, it's kind of fuzzy trying to get it to focus on it, but I'm not sure I can get it to do that. Okay, right there. So I think I get two, four, six, maybe 10 in there for, this was 62 cents. Okay. Next one was $1.78. Next one is $1.78. And this time I'm just, I just am going to give you some ideas here. These are all the potions. I love these. Wolfbane. These are just so cool for your Halloween albums. Oh my goodness. That is so cool for your Halloween albums. I do apologize. I'm sorry. I know I promised to show you all the stickers. But again, I got work in the morning. <laughs> I don't even know how long this video is. This next one was actually $3.18, probably the most expensive pack of stickers I have bought from them, but it's all these wonderful Halloween stickers. Um, I just saw some of these and I thought, these are fabulous and I wanna make sure I get them and I don't want them to sell out. So this is 100 stickers, guys. 100 stickers for what I said, 318 or something? Um, these are fabulous. Definitely worth it. I know I'm going fast. Um, oh man, I can, now I can't wait for Halloween so I can use some of these. Okay. Really, really wonderful. Let me get these out of the way. Move those slightly aside. Um, found this little, I know every, the, my space is getting smaller and smaller here, isn't it? These are wonderful. Look at these. These are like, um, I think you get duplicates of them, and they're like watercolors. Cute. Okay, 
that one out of the way. This next one, this was just fun fruit. Fruit and veggie. 98 cents, and I think there's 50 in here. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> These were just super cute. I'm just going to go through them quick. Oh, look, pineapple. I like the pineapple. Love the lemons and the kiwi. The, I just think these are adorable. Oh, the bacon and eggs. <laughs> Cheese roll. Oh, my golly. These are so stinking cute. Okay, super cute. I mean, honestly, there's nothing here that's not cute. It's all adorable. It's all wonderful. We've got... Um, Two more things to show you. Oh my gosh, I only have two more things to show you. And we're still okay. Um, so this next one, these are like three by three, no, four by four. These are, one, two, three, one, two, three. These are four by four. Um, now, normally in your charm packs here in the States, it's going to be five by five. Four by, this. I think this is actually standard in um, much of uh, Europe. Maybe not Europe, not Europe, um, Asia. But this just had some really pretty, bright, and interesting colors in it. And I can't wait to do something fun with these. I like that one. I think we got that one and the other one in the other pack. Okay, so these are great. And I've, I have ordered these before and, and gone, I went through them so fast I realized I didn't think I could. And then I was done with them like that. So you'll definitely see those when we're crafting with Timu. And the last, the piece of resistance... The last but not least is the Alice Tarot deck. This is wonderful. This one was, oh my gosh, what do I do with the price? I think it was like five. <laughs> I don't have the price on it right now. Um, but I think this was about four or five. And look how cute these are. They are just wonderful. Um, these are going to be in my Alice junk journals. And I can't wait because they're just so cute. So much to see here. <sighs> My golly. Okay, so just adorable. And look at that. Ending with Alice. Okay, that's it. I did it. I don't have any idea how long this video is. It is mammoth, but so was the haul. And I can't wait to see you for the next one. So don't disappoint, Sophia. Go ahead and subscribe today. And um, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I will see you next time. Cheers.